Ho, ho. You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder Friends, it's Zoe! And today, we have been putting stars all around the clubhouse. Each star represents something brave we've done. Come, look at this! This one is when Luca learned to tie a shoe. And this one is when Peyton went down a really big slide. And that one reminds me of when I ordered my own food at a restaurant. I love that we've hung up all these stars. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Ho, ho. Hanging stars in the clubhouse, are you? I am, Ollie. All these stars can remind me that I can be brave. Yes, being brave is something we can do. I know someone who did many brave things, too. Listen up. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. Follow me through. Ho. That should do it. <laughs> oh, hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. I was just making sure these roller skates were ready to go. <laughs> My friend Justin is borrowing them to go roller skating for the first time. Oof. I know he's nervous, but he told me I can do brave things. And I know he can. Hey, that reminds me of someone who did brave things. She's in today's story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Hammers out, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. We have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible is about a woman named Miriam. The Bible teaches us that Miriam was sent by God to help his people. Miriam knew that God was with her and that made her strong and courageous so she could do brave things. When Miriam was a young girl, she had a baby brother named Moses. To keep Moses safe, her mother had to hide him. Miriam's mother put baby Moses in a basket and placed him in the tall grass by the river. Then Miriam was brave and stayed to watch her baby brother. When a princess came to the water and saw baby Moses, God helped Miriam be brave so she could talk to the princess and help keep her baby brother safe for a long time. <sighs> that was a brave thing. <laughs> Another time Miriam was brave was when she and her brother Moses were grown-ups. Miriam helped her brother Moses lead God's people, the Israelites. One big job God gave Miriam was being a prophet. A prophet is someone who delivers messages from God. God helped Miriam be brave and talk to all those people. That was a brave thing. Another way God helped Miriam be brave was when she led God's people in singing and dancing to praise God. She shook her tambourine and sang, Sing to the Lord! Woo! <laughs> Let's shake our pretend tambourines like Miriam! Woo! <laughs> now say, Sing to the Lord! Ready? Sing to the Lord! One more time! Sing to the Lord! Woo-hoo! 
Woo! Great job! <laughs> God help Miriam be brave and lead all the people to sing and praise God. <laughs> that was a brave thing. God help Miriam to do so many brave things. Miriam certainly was strong and courageous. She knew God was with her, and that helped her be brave. God can help you be brave too. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can help you be brave? God can help me be brave. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you be brave? God can help me be brave. That's the truth, friends. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. Miriam did brave things, and you can do brave things too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, God helped Miriam do so many brave things, and God can help me do brave things too. I think I've got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good! I'm gonna need a lot more stars because God can help me be brave every day. I'll see you next time. Bye! Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31.6 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31.6